couple of lions and a traitor. Well, hello you gorgeous mother truckers and fellow rebels and welcome to another video. Right then, so, as you may have been aware, I've done a few videos where I've just demonstrated that uh, Labour are saying we've got no money, but are uh, willingly spending it here, there and everywhere, uh, taking winter fuel bill money off old age pensioners, 10 million of them, uh, but then some because we can't afford it, but then, well, I'm just about to show you even more of our money going somewhere else instead of keeping the money here my old my my old man used to say before you start looking at everybody else make sure your own house is in order and that's what we should be doing because everything's falling apart because no one wants to invest and concentrate on us they want to look look at us virtue signal all over the world why we suffer why we pay for it so let's bring on this article so, Development Minister calls for urgent humanitarian action for crisis in South Sudan, announcing life-saving support package on first Africa trip, which, of course, we paid for, and she flew over there on a plane, no doubt. So, yeah, environmental bullshit. Minister of Development Annalise Dodds with South Sudan, where she announced a package of support. So what I'm going to do is just pull it down. So there you go. If you want to go to Government Minister Development, Minister calls for, there's the old address. Which you can go and look for it yourself. It's not hard to find. It's on it's on uh, X as well. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Um, right honourable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any MP deserves the word right honourable. They're not honourable at all. Any case, so we literally go on, and it's all to talk about. You know, here we go. She visit uh, impacted by regional conflicts and climate crisis. Utter crap. So she goes on and she talks about all the things. That she's going to do, which I'm not going to go, you know, she pressed me about fair and free elections, you know, interfering in things that aren't ours. And uh, we go on about all the things and what she visited and how upset she was and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, the usual gaslighting and uh, we need to, you know, there you go. So we, where is it? Much needed, let's just highlight this here. So we welcome much needed attention the United Kingdom is bringing to this place, please, South Sudan. We're already fragile communities facing extremely impact of climate change. Alongside large influx of refugees and returnees escaping the war across the border in Sudan. It's got nothing to do with it. Any case, so we'll carry on. And it's all this and this and right. So we get to the very important bit. Right, so the minister has announced a £86 million package, which includes £69 million humanitarian assistance, £1.8 million to prevent gender gender based violence because why should we pay for it 15 million pound for those in sudan an additional 15 million which bring in the total uk oda country at addition to 220 million pounds so let's just highlight all that so you can read it all so you can see how much money we are going to send abroad £86 million pounds to solve humanitarian resistance funding, but £1.8 million of that is to prevent gender-based violence. No one cares. It's nothing to do with us. Why is it our problem? If we can't afford to give our old-age pensioners winter fuel allowances, why is it our responsibility to sort their shit out? As I like keep saying, make it make sense. Come on, make it make sense. We're struggling. We are completely collapsing as a country. <coughs> Excuse me, mouth's a bit dry. We're struggling. We can't afford to do anything. But we can afford to send 60 million quid over to Sudan for something that's got literally nothing to do with us just so we look good in the eyes of the world. You may look good in the eyes of the world. The world's laughing at Britain. We're collapsing. We're in a police state. We're being run by it like a tyranny. And all this has been done. All this has been done. The parliament hasn't even sat. We are literally pissing billions of pounds abroad and then turning around and having the audacity, Rachel Reese, to go, there's a £22 million hole in the things. 
And, but, well, I'm going to have to make difficult choices and you're all going to have to pay. No, we're going to have to pay over 50 billion because we keep giving all our money away to people. It's got nothing to do with us. Nothing. You need to fix it here first. And what you do is instead of doing that, you just keep bringing more and more and more and more people in, which is slowly but steadily destroying this country because you're not spending any money on the infrastructure that this country needs to cope with the over 12 million extra people it's got, not through birth, by immigration, be it legal or not legal. And so instead of spending money on fixing all those things that we need to fix here to compensate for the continual flow of people that provide nothing, Okay, a small percentage do provide stuff, okay? And there is a lot of people, well, a small percentage, who are value members, but the vast majority aren't. Statistics, and I know you only like quoting statistics when it suits you, yeah? But at the last load that come over, 86 of them are still on benefits that we're paying for. You haven't built any more doctors or hospitals or anything like that. None of the infrastructure has been improved, and all we can see and all I can see is we need money, and when you look at you lot, you're just pissing it out all over the place, but not here. And for all that money that goes abroad, we've got to pay for it. So we're going to have to do difficult choices. We're going to have to raise taxes. Yeah, for what? To fix our problem or to fix everybody else's problem? Make it make sense. Genuinely. I just... Am I the only one? Am I the only one that thinks like this? Because if I'm not the only one who thinks like this then follow me, subscribe to my channel. So you can have somebody say it, because I know a lot of people don't want to say it, because it's frightening. You might get into trouble, possibly you will. But I'm prepared to do that. Please make it make sense. Any case, enough of that one, I'm done. So, until the next one. When this world's great nation, you're by time, with this crushed population,